every living thing respires. So respiration's got to be considered one of the most fundamental reactions that underpins all of biology. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at how we can measure the rate at which an organism is respiring. I'm excited, roll titles. So, if we want to know how fast any reaction is progressing, we need to measure either how fast the substrates are being used up, or how fast a product is being made. Now with aerobic respiration, that gets a bit tricky, because one reagent can be stored by the organism if it doesn't get used, one product is involved in so many reactions it's impossible to keep track of, and with equal volumes of two colourless gases involved, things suddenly get difficult. Luckily, we've got some chemical trickery up our sleeves. So, we're going to try and make sense of these gases. Oxygen in, carbon dioxide out. Now, if I sealed you in a room and let you breathe for a while, sure, you'd die, you'd, you'd run out of oxygen, but the air pressure in the room would stay the same because every molecule of oxygen gets replaced by a molecule of carbon dioxide. And that is where this stuff comes into play. This is soda lime. It's a mixture of sodium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide, which is used in all kinds of situations to remove carbon dioxide from the air. So we can use it here, so that all the carbon dioxide produced in your sealed room is absorbed. And that means that as you respire, the air pressure in the room goes down. So all we need to do is put some of this in a sealed chamber, add some organisms, and set it up so we can measure the air pressure inside. <laughs> So, as you can see, over time, as that oxygen was used up, the coloured water was drawn up the capillary tube. That's showing us respiration taking place. And because we know the diameter of the capillary tube, we can do some maths and we can calculate the volume of oxygen used per minute, per gram of the organisms. And that is amazing. Anyway, that's the setup. Now it's your turn. Here are my three results in the timer. Use these for any analysis you fancy and try to explain what's going on, both in terms of the experimental design and why these three are all different. You know the drill, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next time for some more tasty bio.